Hello everybody, how's it going today? Okay, so today what are we going to do? I'm going to show you how to have multiple copies of Minecraft, uh, different types. Maybe you have, you want one with all your mods, you want another copy just plain old normal, we call it vanilla Minecraft with nothing, just Minecraft, uh, whatever you want, or maybe you just want specific mods uh, in a different, you know, a different version with different mods. Maybe you just want Buildcraft, you know, one copy of Minecraft just for Buildcraft. So I'm going to show you, for instance, how we could have multiple copies on the computer. Now, this is all done by hand. I don't use any special program to set it up. But I'm just going to show you the way I do it. It's just the easiest for me. I prefer it. But there are some great programs out there that can help you do this. So you can look into that and, uh, and try it out. Okay, so let's get started. So this is uh, what I have here. I'm going to open my C drive. You're going to see C. Now, if you don't know what C is, then I'm going to worry a little bit because uh, maybe you need to take some other type of you know tutorial before this. But anyway, okay, in C, I've decided this is where you can create it in any hard drive, in any drive you want or any folder or whatever. I've created a folder directly in C called Minecraft C, so I open that up. And then I've got modded 125 and I've got vanilla. That's my plane. I created this folder, which you can create here as well. Uh, I prefer to have one folder of Minecraft and then create several folders within with each copy of Minecraft that I have. So now uh, here I also have in the main Minecraft folder under C, I have my original Minecraft that I've downloaded from uh, the site, Mojang site, Minecraft.net. So this is where I've placed it, um, the actual application. Now in the vanilla folder right now, oh, I do have Minecraft, but I'm going to delete it. Sorry, I, I must have set it up before, but let me delete that. Okay, so we have nothing. You see that? Vanilla Minecraft is nothing right now. There's nothing there. So you just have to create a folder of however you want to call it. Now, the most important part is to get the path so that you have um, a shortcut. You need like a little icon so that you can go directly to that copy of Minecraft. So Remember, I've called it vanilla, for instance. Now, modded Minecraft is already there. That was my last video, which you can check out, which I have a bunch of mods there, really fun, and I'm going to get that series started as soon as possible. So let's do this. So vanilla, nothing. So what we need to do is I'm going to do it on the desktop. You can create the shortcut wherever you want, but I do it right on the desktop. And I'm going to create, I'm going to open Notepad. I'm going to open Notepad. Uh, if I can find Notepad. Okay, let's get Notepad. Let's hope I can uh, get, there we go, Notepad. Let's open it up. Okay, so here we got Notepad, okay? Now, I'm going to create what I want to do. Now, I've already have it saved because I've done this before, so I'm going to just show you. I'm pasting, but you don't paste. You type this in. I'm going to show you what you have to type in. Here it is. Set app data equals C colon slash Minecraft, exactly the folder that you created in your C drive. So my C folder is called Minecraft. Then within that folder is the folder called vanilla. So that's where you want this copy, where you want to start this copy of Minecraft. This is where you're actually going to be playing the game from, this folder, vanilla. Now, then you have to also point the program to go to see to where you have the Minecraft executable that you downloaded from Mojang. So that's the second line that I have C colon slash Minecraft slash Minecraft dot exit. That's the file that it's reading from. But it's going to put all the files necessary to play the game in this vanilla folder. And I could have several folders. I could have one that's just called Buildcraft because maybe I just want Buildcraft. Or maybe you like Railcraft and you just want Railcraft. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You can create several, several different copies of the game with different types of mods. Okay, so if you've already typed that in now, this is the important part. We need to save this. So we want to save as, okay. Now here it says text. We do not want it to be a text, okay? We want to change the save as type. We change it to all files, okay? Now I am going to put it on my desktop, so I do need to choose desktop, okay? And here we're going to type, I want it to, I'm going to call it vanilla, just like the folder. So I'm going to type it in vanilla dot bat. It has to end in .bat. That's the file that's going to open up. The .bat is the executable, I guess, for that is what I want to call it. So it needs to end in .bat. And you have to make sure you change the type as all files. Otherwise, it'll save it like a text, and that won't work. So we're going to click Save. There we go. Let's close out of this. Here it is. You see it down here. Now I'm going to drag it over to where I have the modded Minecraft um, bat that I start my modded Minecraft. So vanilla. So let's give it a shot. Okay, we're going to now just click this like we're opening it, this icon. 
As you can see, there's nothing here, username, because I've never opened this yet. So let's, let me put my name in and my password, if I remember it, I hope, because I failed at that before. I have a couple of Minecraft accounts, so. Okay, here we go. So now it's loading all the files it needs into that vanilla folder. So this is a completely separate, um, a separate installation of Minecraft. I couldn't even remember the word. Separate installation of Minecraft. So this is my vanilla Minecraft. Then I have my modded Minecraft. Maybe I've got going to make a creative Minecraft where I can build houses and have some fun in peaceful mode and whatever, you know, whatever I want to do. So, okay, here we go. There we go. So there we go. Now we have this is plain vanilla Minecraft. It's a brand new installation. Has nothing to do with the modded Minecraft. You see down here there's nothing. It just says Minecraft 1.2.5. So let me quit out of that. Now I'm going to open the modded Minecraft, which I set up yesterday. You'll see my video. Let's see. See, everything is saved here. Log in. And you'll see here, there's a bunch of mods. You can see it right off the bat in the corner. It mentions, here we go, three, 33 mods loaded. I can't even speak today. Blah, blah, blah. Not enough coffee. Need to have some more coffee. So anyway, <laughs> and you can see here in mods, it mentions some of the mods here. Well, all the mods. So that's cool. Okay. So that's pretty much it. You just have to create that bat file. Um, I created it on my desktop. And this way, when I click either one, I open the Minecraft uh, installation that I want, whether it's vanilla or modded. Uh, I think it's a great way to have several different uh, installation, different installations or different mods. Maybe you just want industrial craft or you want just forestry or you want to concentrate on just one mod. Red Power is another fantastic one. Uh, thank you, LRM, for that. Awesome, awesome. And all the mods, I still link them below, even though it has nothing to do with this video, but I, I like that the authors of each mod get their um, credit. And so you go directly. I have links directly to every single mod that I personally love. And I've got it down there and you just click it, click those links. It takes you right to the author's page. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and hope to see you in my beginning of my modded. I'm going to have a series of modded Minecraft and I'm going to have a series of vanilla Minecraft. And I hope you join me. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.